High tide also expected shortly in Flagler County, and it may cause more damage to the pier. News Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is live in Flagler, joins us. What are the conditions there right now? Well, you know, I tell you, it's a beautiful day. That's how it happens after a storm. But take a look at these big waves out here at Flagler Beach, just huge. And even closer up to the shore, look, you can see that palm tree starting to roll right there on the sand. It just gives you a taste of some of the damage that we've seen. And even you can think about it like this. Those waves push sand onto the road. I'll have my photographer zoom over here. You can see cars driving by. Traffic is flowing right now. We got a lot of people walking through this area. They're looking at the damage but again that sand came from the beach onto the main roads and now I want to show you what a lot of people have come out here to see we're told about 100 feet of this pier was washed away now if you can watch you see the waves brushing up underneath the legs of the pier well that's what's raising concern for a lot of people they're expecting to lose even more of what's left of this pier News for Jack spoke with a few families. You know, they say they remember coming out here to fish when they were kids. They have lots of memories here. All of that was taken away. We don't know the plans to rebuild. We don't know if there are any at this point, but that's just one thing that comes along with this storm. So, of course, you have a beautiful day like this, but you're bearing with all of the things that have now changed. Once we move into the neighborhoods, we'll start to show some of the other flooding as well. So be sure to stay with us. New we're going back to you, Bruce.